Oracle Apex is a developer tool that enables us to create working applications on a database in Oracle and to do that very quickly. So in this video series for rapid application development, we will be using Apex 424. If you want to work along with the videos, there are scripts available that will be run in the first few videos that create tables and populate the tables with data. So we now have an application with several forms that use a single table. So we have a report and a form sitting on a single table. What we need to do now is return to our data model and review what we're going to do where we want to show more than one table in a single form. So we mapped out earlier that we were going to do a master detail form that would show us attendance data along with the workshop data where workshop is the master and attendance is the detail because it's on the many side. We will also do this for the evaluations and the eval item scores. Evaluation is the master, it's on the one side and eval item scores is on the many side. So I'm going to go back to the application and I'm going to create a page. I will select form and click next but this time I will select master detail instead of what we've done in the past. And then I will select the master. In this case I'm going to start with evaluations and eval item scores. When I select the master and you can see I'm at the master table definition with this uh, navigation I'm going to click Next. All the fields, by the way, came across as being displayed. I could deselect some if I wanted to. Now we're going to select the detail as it shows up here, detail table and columns. And we only see related columns, so it have to be either students or eval item scores. And I'm going to pick eval item scores. Again, all the fields move across to be displayed. If I didn't want them shown, I would select one and move it to the left panel. Then I'm going to select primary key for both the master and the detail. Because the tables are properly defined, the primary key is known. I don't have to select anything. And then again, we're going to step through this. We already have an existing trigger that's going to populate the evaluation ID. And we have an existing trigger that's going to populate the uh, primary key for the detail table, which is a VAL score ID. So we're moving along fairly quickly here watching our navigation. Uh, we're not going to make any changes here. We want the master report to be included with the master uh, detail form. And we will start by, in this case, we're going to do the detail as a form on the same page as the master. There's an alternative to that which we will use in a later example. So you don't have to change the numbers. I'm going to go ahead and sh uh, change the page number here and just to show that you can assign page numbers if you want to. Instead of saying master detail here though I'm going to say evaluation master detail and over here I'm going to change this to item scores. You just should look through at the default settings and see if you want something that's a little more user friendly. I do want a breadcrumb and I will scroll down and select home and that becomes the uh, initial link in the breadcrumb and then I click next. I'm not going to use a tab because when we get through with this I'm going to create buttons on the home page of the application to open the master detail forms. So I'll go ahead and click Next and I will create. And I can run that page and so now I have a report. Now this is a classic report. It does not give us the search feature and I'm going to click on one of the evaluations and when I do it comes in and now we see the master detail. This is the data from the evaluation in the top portion 
and this is the data related to this particular evaluation for items evaluated and the scores assigned. We'll do more to uh, make these more user-friendly by showing uh, names for evaluator and evaluatee and showing what item it is rather than just the item ID, but we'll do that later. So I'm going to go back to my application. If I were to run the application, I have no way to see that master detail right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and step through very quickly and do workshops and attendances. Whoops, yeah, that's right. I have a trigger for both the master table primary key, the detail table primary key, and I won't make any changes here. I'll keep it as a, uh, the detail form is on the same page as the master form. And I can change my page numbering here. Assign my breadcrumb. And I now have the report for workshops. Click one and I see the attendances or the attendance records for that. Again, we can come in later and make this more user friendly by showing us the name of the student rather than the student ID. So in the next video, we'll create buttons on the home page that will allow us to open those master detail forms.